Hey guys, back in the Pimax booth here at CES 2020. This time in this short video, I'm going to talk a little bit about watching movies on the Pimax headset, especially the new Pimax 8KX and the Vision Pimax 8K Plus. They're both called Vision, it's the new Vision series, as well as the 5K Super, which will also be a new headset with up to 100, 180 hertz of refresh rate. So, anyway, a lot of you have been asking me why even buy an 8K Plus when there is an 8KX which does simply everything better and also includes the upscaler, right? Yeah, I can partially agree and that, that for sure, I mean it's only $300 in between. Still, $300 is $300. You can basically get a, a pair of uh, Valve Index controllers, you can get a lot of games VR for that. So. I'm going to give you one reason why you could go for the 8K Plus instead of the 8KX, especially if you're not playing much games. And the reason is watching movies. Here in this little area of the booth, you can see I'm running a laptop just with big screen beta, and I'm running a, just a trailer of, uh, I think it's the Fast and Furious, the latest movie. We're running it on a really big screen in a theater mode. On an 8K Plus, which actually has this little cool uh, rubber thing on top. I, I love this thing, by the way. Check it out. It's so easy to just put it, put it on and put it on, off. And it really helps uh, against... Oh, man. Sorry. There we go. You can really, like, hit it on, around. And it's not going to... Well, it's not going to break, that's for sure. Because it has so many of these uh, rubber spikes everywhere. So it really protects your Pimax. Even though the 8K Plus and the 8KX and the 5K Super now has a rubberized, ruggedized uh, rubber... Um, well, it's not a painting, actually. like It's like a layer on top of the, of the uh, headset. So, anyway, back to the movie thing. Watching movies on 8K Plus is freaking amazing. That's what every single single per, uh, person says, including me. I was blown away the first time I tried the 8K Plus, long before I even uh, tried the 8KX. I, I turned on, uh, like I, I think I started off like an animated movie or something. It just my, blows me away. Because there is no screen door effect anymore, you're definitely not going to see any screen door effect in any movie or uh, whenever it's animated or if it's um, like a Hollywood movie, like the Fast and Furious uh, movie here. And I actually, I think we're actually going to ask some people what they think about the experience of watching movies. And remember, this is only a flat 2D movie, right? It's just a Hollywood movie. Uh, it's not 3D. You can, of course, watch 3D movies. You can watch 180 degrees movies. And you can watch 360 degrees. There's VR porn, of course. <laughs> we all know that. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. I, I have Kevin over here uh, with a visitor. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you a couple of questions, please? Sure. Yes. Uh, you have tried the 8K Plus uh, with the... I mean, you were watching the little trailer over here, right? I haven't tried it yet. Sorry. He was, he was about to. Would you like to do that? Sure. Uh, all right. Let's go. You got, you got yourself in trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck around too long. He stood in the same place too long. Yep. I got him. This okay. Is, this is Martin Levy, Sweet Viver on uh, on a YouTube channel, and uh, he does. Uh, we're doing some like instant reactions for people that you know have never seen anything, and just to see what the kind of what the instant reaction might be, and it also helps us improve. And I'll have to add, I work for Pimax as well, so I'm also an employee, which is a kind of a disclaimer. You know that, guys, already. Right here is your IPD adjustment, yep. okay, and then this is your uh, your tightness adjustment. You may have noticed that we are using just a Vive strap here right now. That's because we don't have enough of mass straps, those modular auto straps. We were using like all six of them around here in the booth. And we only brought six of them to CES. Uh, they're not finished yet. They will be very soon. Um, so that's why we just put this. This is like an extra station I personally put up yesterday already. Just because I thought like this is something that people has to see how cool this looks uh, on the 8K+. Plus. So let me know what you think. This is nice. This is very nice. I have a Vive at home, and this is much nicer. Yeah. Have you been watching uh, movies in VR before? Very little, but... That's because it's not good enough, right? No, it's blurry. It's not, not yeah. what you expect. Right. This is much closer. <laughs> but would you say that we can finally use VR uh, for watching movies, or are we still not there yet? 
No, this is clear. This is very nice. You could very much get into this nice comfy chair. It would be a very nice experience. How, uh, we're using LCD panels, right? Uh, everyone knows that. The L 8KX, the 8K+, Plus, the 5K+, Plus, the Artisan, the 5K Super, except for the 5K XR, which is an OLED headset. Uh, how do you feel about the black levels and the black and contrast and the colors and everything? The HDR is really nice, actually. It, it's got a nice crisp color difference, and like I said, the black and the white the contrast is really nice. Cool. Anything more you can tell about the, the experience itself? Uh, this is wonderful. Like I said, I, I have a vibe and this, this beats it hands down. All right, I'm just going to restart the trailer again because it's sure. almost ended here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the premise of this, this is neat. It's good. Yeah. And also, as I said before, you can do 360 movies, 180 in 3D, of course. Yes? Uh, I, I would like to ask him a couple of questions, what yeah. he thinks about the quality. あの、質問があるってどう、品質はどう思うかって。いや、すごい綺麗です。いや、ビューティフル。The yeah, the resolution is good. Excellent, he said. Okay. Anything more? Any more uh, like thoughts colors and black levels maybe? カラーはどうですか?黒の基調はどうですか?映画館で見てるのと全く同じ感じです。Oh, the same as the movie theater. So it's basically like being in a movie theater, right? Movie theater. He is in the movie theater. How about the field of view, the wide field of view? Huh? How about the wide field of view? The sono wide of view, ka kono gamen no kono kakchou sei wa dou desu ka? Ah, ii desu ne. Ano honnai miite nai tokoro mo miite iru node, miite iru kanji ga suru node. Oh, so he is like a reality in a spot because he see feel he even he didn't see he can feel it the outside of the the the, the view view field. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we got some more impressions here. I must say every single person trying this out, uh, it's a simple trailer just rolling. I mean, it's a three minute video, but everyone who just jumped into it is like, wow, you can actually watch movies in VR now. And that's mainly because not, not the field of view, maybe. Well, of course it is partially, but mainly because of the lack of screen door effect. And Actually, I was talking to MRTV yesterday and he also made a video about this. He said that now this is the first time he felt that now we can watch movies in VR, which it, it was, I mean, it was possible ever since HTC Vive, uh, the original one, ever since uh, Oculus Rift and CV1, CV2, but you were always distracted about the, the screen door effect, the um, low uh, field of view, the low sweet spot also, I mean, the blurriness on the sides. Now we have a, like a huge sweet spot you have a nice resolution, so I think it's a great thing. Okay, uh, we have one more person here, actually, who want to try this. Uh, well, there are many, but right now, at this moment, we haven't had much people uh, at this side of the booth. <laughs> Hi, James, how are you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well, Martin, thank you. Have you tried uh, Pimax before? I have not, I have not. My buddy told me he's got a couple sets. He said, go see the 8K, and I was like, okay. Cool. Uh, do you play VR in general? Do you have a headset at home? I don't have a headset at home, but I do have I do have a lot of VR experience. Um, so yes. Have you Have you tried the Valve Index, for example? I'm sorry. Have you tried the Valve Index headset, for example? I haven't tried the Valve headset. It's been um, mostly the Vive. Okay, the Vive. Yeah. The Vive. Yeah. Excuse me. So uh, this is the 8K Plus. It's not the flagship headset, but it's using the same panels as the flagship headset, the 8K X. Uh, so it's a 4K panels per eye, uh, it's a f but the image is transferred like a 2.5K uh, signal and then upscaled to 4K for each eye. Okay. And what you're going to see here is just a movie trailer uh, in, in 2D, you're just sitting in a cinema basically watching a movie in VR. So put, put the headset on and we'll see what you feel about it. Let me know. Okay. It's exactly like being in a cinema. You should put some chairs down in the bottom. I think, there are, I think there are some chairs actually, if you look around. Yeah, there is. It's just, a, it's a dark. Oh, I see on the left, excuse me. I see on the left, the chair's a lot better. Ah, it's pretty cool. Would you find yourself watching a movie like this? I mean, sitting like three hours watching Lord of the Rings or something? You know, I don't think that I'd watch Lord of the Rings ever again. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, 
<laughs> to but, be a- but I don't think that I'd see a movie in VR. I think that they're going to come out with some like I maybe maybe like under 30 minute like experiences. Yeah, true. I could be I could see um but I feel like there's a lot of like if I'm watching a movie, there's a lot of neck attrition. Uh, explain. I want to be, How do you mean? be moving my head, you know. And when I'm looking at a screen, you're you're kind of like stationary with your headset. So if I were closer to the screen, if I had more to look at, you're like moving your neck more. But I think if I watched a movie with this on my head, just straight for three hours, um, I think it would hurt my neck. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that, that's I totally understand that. Yeah, versus right now, like when you're playing a game and like zombies are coming, you know, there's a lot more like immersion and muscle movement there. Sure. Well, the screen is not super huge. It is huge, but it's not really covering the full field of view. You can, of course, enlarge it to even like fill up the full, full field of view. But, but I would say this is a problem. I, I wouldn't be able to watch a movie like this. I mean, yeah. just remove my head all the whole time. But I don't know. Maybe we're all different. <laughs> maybe. Well, you know, I mean, I think I think that if I were on an airplane, I'd feel totally different. You True. Don't, True. You don't. You don't want to see anybody around you. Um, I think I think it creates a whole different experience with that. Yeah, true. But I would definitely play um, Fortnite with it. Oh yeah. 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 You can. I mean, you can basically play any 2D game on this. I mean, any Steam Steam VR game or whatever. I mean, Steam game or, uh, or all yeah, the whatever. other platforms. Yeah, just use it in 2D. You can even uh, play a lot of those games in 3D as well with a depth, of course. Like, so I mean. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna yeah. do that? Do you think you're gonna do this? I mean, in the future? In the future, absolutely. In the, in the next three years, I'll be purchasing uh, one of the sets and probably, probably this one up high. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, guys. Um, we're gonna end up this now. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm gonna be back with more impressions, especially on the 8KX, because it's more of a main event here, I guess. Uh, the 8KX, we might also try the 5K Plus Super, 5K Plus, 5K Super, and the Artisan as well. We still haven't set up the, the Artisan with NOLA, but we'll probably do that later today. And we have the eye tracking coming with the DFR, then I'm for the rendering, with a cool demo. 7 Invention is gonna uh, fix it up for us here, actually here in this little area of the booth. So, catch you later guys, thanks for watching, cheers.